just arrived in Atlantic City. It's very windy, so you probably can't hear me. But I did spot somebody fishing here. It looks like on a local bridge. I have not fished here before. But it looks like they're crabbing. I'm probably trying to catch some bait fish I'm sure. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, I'm out here and this is what it's all about. Just uh, checking out the different scenery, different spots, seeing what's happening. And uh, it looks like they're crabbing, so I'm gonna talk to the locals, and if they're if they're doing anything good here, maybe I'll come back and try it. All right. My man is really scooping up the coins, my G. I never seen that shit before. All right, day one. It's about. 2 a.m. and um, we did a little poker. It didn't work out. I'm a little down a little bit, but you know, us poker players, we only talk about the wins. We don't talk about the losses, so we carry on from there. And here we are. Was lucky. The noodle bar is open, so uh, the best, the best, the best beef tendon noodle soup is right here in Atlantic City at the Brigada at the noodle bar. Check it out. So uh, I'm fueling up for the morning. Again, it's around 2 a.m. I'm gonna get a couple hours rest. Um, the family's sleeping. I'm gonna go, they'll be sleeping. I'll wake up, they'll be sleeping, and then we'll go ahead and hit the jetty, so, and the bait shop. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Check it out, 2.26 a.m. And look where we are. That's right. I was actually gonna head back to the room, but I said, you know what? The wind died down, and this might be perfect to see what's going on at the pier over at Harris. So yes, we might be in for a treat, guys. I'm gonna pass by, check out the grounds, and if it looks fishy, I might just toss in a line. Look at that. That'll be awesome to catch a fish here. Alright guys, we are out here, it's night time, 2 in the morning, so it's dark, but check that out. We are at the bridge, so uh, it looks spooky and it looks fishy at the same time, so uh, I don't know what to do. Should I fish? I think I'll just... Uh, save it for the morning guys but uh I'll, I'll at least check out the area and uh i might just see if uh maybe i'll do something here tomorrow night all right first cast yeah. got him let's see nice look at that atlantic city peanut bunker <laughs> just like we do in jamaica bay my man We out here, guys. Where you from, my boy? I'm from Queens, my boy. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, man. Gotta get one, bring one, show something for the boys. Let's see, that's what I'm doing. We're going small profile. Match the hatch. Do you want a peanut bunker? No problem. Look at that, here you go. You do, you do it again. Woo-hoo-hoo! Man, it's a pro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's for the boys. I got a bunch of yeah, I'm about to toss one on my. What about the toss? Yeah, I'm gonna toss. Okay. Up, uh, I'm gonna fish this little uh, rubber real quick. All right, guys, we are here. Check this out. I think we're in luck. Nice. Well, we're just gonna get to work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Fish in the Atlantic. Atlantic City. Oh, little baby shark. Oh, boy. Oh, at least you got something. All right. Not what I wanted. Yeah, yes, sir. Come on, you bitch. Come on, man. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, we're 
back in the car. I did about 45 minutes out there, and um, yeah, there was a million peanut bunker in a corner right here, right by the bridge, and um, I got about three peanuts swiped, and the last one was chopped in half. I should have taped it, but um, yeah, I'm delirious. It's 3.26 a.m., came straight from New York. I have not slept. I'm exhausted. I'm going delirious right now, and uh, I tried to hook one, but uh, it was, uh, yeah, there was uh, too m too many peanuts running around. But I did see some big size fish in a silhouette of some sort. I don't know if it's a striped bass, bluefish, or weak fish, but uh, they were nice fish, so uh, that's why I stuck around. But I'll try to come back and get them tomorrow. I'll look back. Need to get some rest. <laughs> five hours it's 9 a.m. the family's still sleeping and I'm gonna go get some coffee and hit up the tackle shop speak to the guys over there see what's going on in the neighborhood and then uh, I think we'll all uh, fish T jetty and uh, we'll fish the inlet of Atlantic City so let me go get some coffee we'll be right back Alright, so we are getting our coffee Americano medium Cream and sugar with the buttercrumb cake, and that's how we're gonna start our morning. Get our energy, let's get it. Atlantic City, let's do it. All right, it's the moment of truth. Just checking out the new coasters I got from Baz Pro Shops. 30% off sale yesterday, so love is love. But uh, all right, here we are. This would be the bait and tackle right by the jetty. So here's where you want to come and see my peoples. Let's see if they got the sand fleas today. I want to fish some sand fleas by the inlet and hopefully get me some trigger fish, black fish, trigger fish, black fish, sheep's head, or whatever it is. Guys, yeah, my guy, my guy, yo, I hit him up, man. Yo, this yeah. is the fam. What is up? Brothers in the building. Culture. Bro. Culture. AJ. Oh, my God. My guys. What a What's surprise. Up? Look What's at this. Added, the team is here. We are here in Atlantic City at the bait shop doing about what we're about to do. No, so, uh, let's. Not the bait shop. It's, it's the only one the stop. The one stop. only <laughs> stop. My guys Famous right here. We are out here. Bang. We are out here. You know the vibes. Like, subscribe. You know the drill. We here. Here we go, baby. No sand fleas, but guess what? We got the green crabs. Jiggling, wiggling. With the shrimp. And my boy just told me the target going crazy. So, uh. You know why the Atlantic City has more fish than anywhere else? Talk to me, Because of the jetty system. Because we have over a mile worth of jetties. It's a five-star resort for... I'm with that, Top. I'm with that, I'm with that. All right, music to my ear, guys. You already know we love that. All right. All right, guys, so just here's a little update. We're gonna call it Audible. I ran into my boy, DJ Culture, and his son, and uh, these are the Atlantic City local experts that know the area well. I told them the game plan to fish TJ to catch that trigger fish that we actually fish together a few years ago and I caught a huge trigger fish which actually I weighed in at one bait shop right there in Atlantic City and uh, which there's actually a previous video if anyone saw that but anyhow uh, they told me that is not the spot to be fishing for trigger fish or black fish right now and they told me they're taking me to a secret spot where they said they guaranteed that I will catch a black fish within 10 minutes I couldn't believe it. That's music to our ears. You know we love our blackfish. And uh, just catching a blackfish from land right now is extra, extra credit. I got my shrimp, my sand fleas. Yeah, it's down there, I'm not gonna grab it. But uh, yeah, we're, we're prepared, man. So uh, I'm really excited, I'm psyched right now. We're in luck, or I think we're gonna be in luck. So uh, 
let's see what we can do. All right, we just pulled up to the Blackfish secret spot. I am so excited. I got my shrimp, I got my green crab, and uh, now we're just going to set up before we set. Now check this out. This is what I brought for today, which is a black hole Cape Cod slow pitch, and absolutely perfect for what I'm gonna do right now, which is uh, some bottom fishing and some sticky rocks for blackfish. I'll show you how I'm raked up over here. Keeps everything nice and organized. Got a couple of reels in here. I'm gonna stick on a uh, twin power, good stuff. And we're good, baby. The guys are in a rush, we're here. Right. Check this out, huh? We are out here. Atlantic City, New Jersey. My peoples just brought me out here. They said it's uh, really, really, really good right now. So uh, I am so excited. I think we're actually gonna catch some fish today. Unlike my past trips, which have been pretty difficult. The boats are coming out. My man Colch in the front knows the whole fleet. He's like the fish in the Atlantic of Atlantic City. So uh, we're in the right hands, guys. I think we're gonna have a, a nice treat today. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over some fundamentals for this today's trip and what I needed to do, which is bring some measuring tape. So we got some 15, went with 25 pound fluorocarbon, some jigs, and then pull your terminal tackle. So you wanna keep it light and effective. And we got a black hole slow pitch 662 h2mf is the model beautiful and perfect for traveling and that's how we're going today guys all right here we are fishing a jetty slow pitch action all right guys Blackfish, so we are in the money. We got our first fish, so uh, we know what's happening. So, hopefully, we're gonna keep them. Oh, there we go. All right, we're switching it up from the jig to the rig. Just go to simple drop a loop. I think I gotta keep it guys. I think we gotta keep it guys. Might have done it. 15 inches, right? Jersey keep is 15 inches. It's close. Let's go see. Woo. All right. Let's get this situated. Might have a mission accomplished situation here. Let's get it open. And you see that? Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. I felt my jig sliding too much. Freaking waves are splashing and flying in. The tide is coming in and uh, yeah. I said, let me switch it up to the rig and uh, let's get some measurements going here. Oh. All, right. All right. Okay. So let's see. Oh, it's a keeper, guys. 15 inches. Wow, we did it right here in Atlantic City. Amazing, fantastic. All right, like and subscribe. You already know. All right, guys, mission accomplished. New Jersey Keeper Blackfish, 15 inches um, on the crab. Switched it up, went from the jig to the rig. My man wants to fish. We're gonna bless him. Team FTA, always love. You know what I'm saying? I can't enjoy the fish, so let my man enjoy him.
the right guys peace and love all right guys we're right back here same spot i got a live peanut he's injured he actually just got picked up whatever it is didn't take him got my guy out here Hopefully we get some. Nice and fishy. Ooh, look at that. All right, guys. Looks like I might get a keeper, guys. Keeper fluke. I'm gonna walk him down. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just, let me walk him. Look at that. Wow. I'm almost by the shore. Almost by the shore. Almost by the shore. Okay, and right, I'm gonna try to get him. Alright. I just dragged a fluke on shore. Let's check it out. Wow, this is amazing. What's up, guys? They just popped up. Let's see what's up. Okay. Alright. Here it is. Nice catch. Thanks, man. Alright, there he goes. Goes. Oh, oof, look at that. Wow. It's sure. Yeah, it's a flounder. <laughs> wow. All right. There you have it. I put in that work. I came out here and uh, we did it on a live peanut. I'm going to just uh, get this guy off here and uh, send him right back. All right. We got him de-hooked. All right, let's get him right back in there. Check this out. Let's see. All right. Very young fella, thank you very much. Let's just uh, get lead the guy. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's uh let's get right back up there and try and do it again guys i see fish under the bridge this is crazy So, uh, new situation, the bait moved further down the dock. We got our, a nice flounder that I just released and uh, I spotted some type of big fish under the bridge. There's about three of them. And uh, I'm gonna, got a little, little peanut right here that I'm gonna try to fool them with. And uh, if I could get a fish right now, this is going to be absolutely insane. I want to try to trick him. He's under the bridge. All right. All right, guys. It is now 4 a.m. And uh, I cannot hook the fish that I keep seeing under the bridge. It's like a silhouette. It's about a foot long. Maybe even bigger. There's a couple of them. So I am going to try to snag it at this point because I need to just figure out what kind of fish this is. He's still under the bridge. He's big. You think I'm kidding? Look at that. There he goes. He's under the bridge. I'm gonna try to snag. All right, y'all. So I am driving back to New York. That concludes my vacation, my family trip to Atlantic City, and it was a mission accomplished. I'm so excited, I'm so happy I got to catch some fish finally uh, that I could actually keep. I didn't keep them because I'm you know, on vacation, but you know, you get the point. Um, we started fishing the jetty, uh, we caught our blackfish. It wasn't a keeper, but we caught our first blackfish within the 15 minutes as I was promised. 
so the guys were right you know and uh and then i was actually able to get a keeper blackfish 15 inches uh once i switched up from the jig to the rig um so some strategy and some technical technique right there to get that done and then we uh did some fishing at the pier over by harry casino at night i uh, went a couple nights there and uh on the second night i got very lucky and caught a keeper flounder that i released and then there was the mystery fish under the bridge um don't know if it was a cobia striped bass bluefish but there were a few of them and uh you know i wasn't able to hook up with them but uh, that's what makes uh fishing uh what it is and it's all about it's fishing you don't know what you're gonna catch and then you don't know if you're gonna catch so uh yeah so but uh yeah then i also got to uh play a little bit at the casino win some lose some and in the end i did win so it was just a winning trip all around shout out to all of my viewers all of my guys watching this is for you and uh don't forget to like subscribe show that support right back because we're going to continue to be out on the field hitting different destinations and doing different things and keeping things uh fun so uh, take care guys from Fishing Atlantic.